fresh orange juice from your backyard, the best orange juice you're going to be able to have. With citrus greening out of control, orange juice may go away. Citrus greening is a really serious issue here in the state of Florida, but you know, it's not new. Citrus greening actually goes back into the late 1800s. It was really well documented by a PhD graduate from the Cornell University who went back to his home country of China. And there in China, he discovered that, well, gee whiz, a lot of these trees citrus trees in China were being wiped out and nobody knew why. Well, he did a great job. And it is a definitive landmark study where greening was identified for the first time. Well, during this period, of course, not a lot of information was coming out of China, just the way it was. And the psyllid, that little nasty Asian psyllid, was able to jump borders and just have its way with citrus trees all in Asia. Now, over time, that citrus psyllid has made its way slowly but surely into the state of Florida. You know, Florida is a great tourist location and, well, the psyllid needed a little bit of a vacation, so he wound up in Dade County. And slowly but surely over the past several years, we've been able to see that psyllid move all the way up into North Florida. And now probably 90% of all citrus in Florida is infested with the Asian citrus psyllid. There is no cure for this disease. The tree will die. The question is, how can we manage this disease? Maury Boyd, Boyd Citrus out in big grower here in Central Florida, really came up with an idea. You know, Boyd is a cancer survivor. And he thought, well, gee whiz, when you get diagnosed with cancer, you either go home and die or you find another doctor and get another opinion. And that's what he did. And he found that nutrition could really delay the process and the inevitability of the tree dying could slow that down dramatically with good nutrition. And so that's what he did. And he created a protocol that really has worked very, very well. And today, there are many protocols that are used around the state of Florida for the purposes of offsetting the effects of greening through positive nutrition. And of course, here at the Urban Farming Institute, we talk about nutrition, especially plant nutrition, a lot. So the idea is that with all of this happening in the world of the Asian citrus psyllid, we know for sure that more than likely in your backyard, this psyllid has arrived. There are all kinds of signs and symptoms that give you a pretty good hint whether or not you have been infested by the psyllid. It's very, very simple. We're going to include some links down below so you'll be able to read for yourself and see for yourself what the disease looks like and what other places are doing to try to control it. We have a formula here. It's the 734 Root Pro formula. It's part of a protocol. This was developed by Dana Venrick at Quality Green Specialists in Deland, Florida. Now, Dana is a great guy. He's a retired ag agent in, this, in the county of Marion. And this is a formulation that he's put together and he's having great success in commercial groves in north central Florida. 
challenge is that these kind of products are, while they are available commercially, uh, they're not easily available for the backyard gar gardener. Well, guess what? We have that protocol here and we're going to make that protocol available to you. Now the good news is that while there are many techniques being used to control the psyllid, most of them comprise some form of nutrition. Of course now we're finding that the psyllid can also be controlled somewhat organically through beneficial wasps, lace wings, ladybugs, all of these things that we see in a properly put together organic garden. So you have a good opportunity in your backyard. So by checking those links below, be sure to check out citrus greening. The product that we have here, part of a protocol, was developed by Dana Venrick up in the land, Florida. Dana's a great guy and is having great success with this product in commercial groves. The challenge that we've had with these protocols is that while they are available commercially, very difficult to have them available for the backyard grower. Well, guess what? We have that protocol here at the Urban Farming Institute. Come in, take a look. We'll be happy to share this information with you. It is one among many. There are other protocols available, but this is the one that we found to work very, very well. We're also going to be doing some other things with citrus, citrus nutritionals as we move into the fall. So be sure to come in. Saturday's the big day here at the Urban Farming Institute. Take a look at what we're doing, and if you have citrus trees, know that the possibility of you being infested with the Asian citrus psyllid is really very, very high. So until next time, John Albee for the Urban Farming Institute. See you soon.